Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Deku Tarot and welcome to your December 2020 through January 2021 reading. I know it's a little late. We're having an unconventional end to a very unconventional year where in between these two eclipses, at least for me, I've gone through a lot of very sudden changes, life altering stuff. So I've just been trying to roll with the punches and be accepting of this shift in energy as we have Saturn and Jupiter moving towards your signs and they will both be in your sign Aquarius on by the 17th and 19th of December. So what does that mean for you? Big changes. Um, with both of these planets in your sign, things will, your potential will really grow. Let's just put it that way. Um, it will teach you how to build more self-reliance. It will show you where the cracks, where the issues, where the instabilities really are in the foundation of your life. And Jupiter will help you kindly and softly to make those changes where Saturn will push you and be a bit harsh and really won't let you... Ooh. And of course, they both fall under the table. It's that kind of energy where there's good things, very good things. And 2021 will be an amazing year for you. And it will be an amazing, honestly, it will really set you up for many years to come if you are open and accepting and grateful to this energy, no matter how it shows up. Because we might see, see the thing is, we can look at things in two separate ways here. We can look at it very negatively, or we can look at it very positively on what we're building for the future here. Who are we surrounding ourselves with? If you felt a drift in your relationships, your friendships, um, if you don't feel you're vibing with the same people anymore, for whatever reason, if you feel that they're using you, or it kind of comes to you now that maybe all of your relationships aren't so picture perfect. People might be taking a lot more from you than they, than your than uh, English than they're giving to you. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Um but it will also make you question some really big things about the life direct you know about your life path, your direction. So where do I even begin with all this energy here? Um you've got some good stuff out and before I even get too into this, like all the other signs this month, I you know, picked a song, listened to it beforehand for your energy this month. Um, I picked Worth It by Haley, I might say this wrong, Hendrix. Um, and you can go and check that out on that Spotify playlist. I'll try to link it below in the comments and the description box. So check that out. It's got a song for every one of the signs. Um, just thought it'd be fun. Sag energy makes me a little creative. And maybe you guys are feeling very creative right now. I do think so. I find that Aquarians in Sagittarian energy, it's very creative. It's very expansive for you. And so to have all these very intense astrological moments, including that Sagittarius new moon on the 14th that we're coming right up to, it will be a great time for new, um, for your, for really a new beginning, a new step forward in terms of your ambitions, your goals. And... Again, we have this thing, and I feel like this has come up maybe in the past few months, so I'm just going to bring this up now so we can move on to all the other good stuff. Um, if, they, if you find that there's a lot of focus on past trauma, on familial trauma, on childhood trauma and pain, things that you haven't really dealt with, haven't really worked through, again, that you're still working through that. And I feel like that came up, I don't know if it was last month or the month before, but I know that you guys have been in this period of really deep healing and things will get better. They will start moving forward again when Jupiter and Saturn move into your sign. Things are going to feel a lot easier. Um, yes, the work will still be there, but it will feel better. It will feel a lot less difficult internally when things start moving again out of your 12th house and start moving into Aquarius. Things are going to be more just you're just gonna be more adept at dealing with this rather than have this internal struggle this internal battle and this kind of breaking down of things from the inside 
So be open to these buildups and breakdowns as these planets switch over. Be open to things shifting and changing. Be open to your plans shifting and changing. You might have thought, um, oh, I'm going to do this, and then in the next few months I'm going to be here, or you know, I'm going to start this project right now and it's going to work out. If it doesn't, you know, try something else. Try something new. Find a new way to do it. It's going to force you this month and into tr January to figure out how to build structure. And we can thank Saturn for that, but don't get upset when things fall apart. Jupiter will help you bounce back, will help you jump back up from that and get back to work in a positive way, will help you find the, the solutions, but you are going to need to be open and grateful to things shifting and changing instead of trying to fight it or getting upset, throwing a tantrum because things aren't going the way that you want them to still. They will, but you have to you have to change your perspective and change how you respond to this right now, okay, if that helps. So again, don't be afraid also to talk about whatever these deep things that you're working through are now. Um, if you also are restructuring the scope of, you know, the group around you, the people around you, your friendships, and you're starting to say, you know, pull away from people that haven't done you much, that have hurt you, that haven't that haven't made you feel good, but you keep them around for whatever reason, because Aquarians have so many friends sometimes, it's like, you're hanging out with these people, but why? And, you know, why are you giving your time to somebody that everybody else has been like, you know, don't give your time to that person, don't give your energy to that person. Maybe you should start heeding those lessons and start feeling, you know, where energy is off in certain relationships and start addressing it. Um, because the relationships that you want to build now are going, you know, the relationships that you do build now really are going to be probably very helpful and around you for the next 10 years or so. So start building the right relationships around you. Start putting energy into the right um, people and stop giving it to those who just take and take and take. Be really aware of energy vampires this month, okay? Even if they might come in the guise of a friend, you know, what are what are you really getting out of this relationship? Because even friendships have equal give and take. They're, it's, you know, it's important to remember that. So let's talk a little bit more about this. Um, so yeah, again, talk about these emotional issues that are running deep um, and talk to somebody trustworthy, okay? So things will be, I feel like, a lot of work. We have some good stuff coming in, so let's look at this. Let's talk about love because actually those are the first two cards out when I was listening to the music and it just felt so nice. I mean, look at this. Ace of Cups, Six of Cups. That to me is such a fresh new beginning that almost feels like somebody that you've known for a long time. It could feel like you're having a real heart and soul connection with somebody right now. Um, if you are single or if you know you are starting something new, you're just getting to know somebody. There's a lot of this burgeoning love, this burgeoning real emotional connection. I feel like, you know, even right now I'm just getting like heart palpitations, like butterflies in my chest. So there's a real sense of like this really romantic, um, really romantic moments this month that can really grow into something greater. I feel if you are willing to let go again of something that is either, again, a past childhood trauma, like something that has held you back really deeply in, you know, the core of who you are and how you built yourself up to be. If you're willing to let that, to work through that, heal that, let that go, you have a real chance of love here that is really deep really emotionally connecting again it could be sometimes when i get the six of cups especially with an ace of cups it's gonna feel like a past life connection and it might be i don't like people to you know get all excited you know soulmates and all that but we have a lot of soulmates in our life and we come back we meet them we work together um sometimes it's to stay together forever sometimes it's not but it could be very well be a soulmate connection because for me six of cups often shows up when it is that but there's a real deep sense of comfort and ability to really talk and be open-hearted if you want to be. But if you continue to keep those bar those Aquarian barriers up because you don't want what is gonna you know what happened in the past happen again, or you're afraid of you know what could happen, what's the real truth here, what are they doing, what are they, then you're not going to get there. So be open again this month. It's really important for you to not let, how do I put this? Let's see if the cards can put this into a word for me here. Oof, yeah. Let's not let, <laughs> let's not let, 
ego drive the situation. Let's not let our fears drive the situation. Let's simply let the truth drive the situation and look very hard at, you know, and again, this month, like I said, it's a great month for you guys, but it will ask you to look at some really hard aspects of yourself as these big planets move into your sign. And it will get easier, of course, again, and everything will work out, but it's going to ask that bit of work from you to, you know, again, face these fears, face these issues um, within you that you need to change. Because, um, I mean, how have I not even talked about this? We have that great conjunction happening you know with Saturn and Jupiter both in your sign like right after they move into it and for this to happen it hasn't happened between two air signs especially not Aquarius and Aquarius for over 200 years so that's a really big deal and the great conjunction itself only happens every 20 years so you can blame 2020's craziness on that yes but with this last con you know conjunct moment for them you know happening on the 20th I believe of December you will you will, this will be a great moment for you to, again, to release what no longer, you know, you no longer need to really hold on to, to let go of what is stopping you from building that strong foundation in career, in life, in love that you really want to do. So it's going to help you work through these difficult moments, but it is going to be a real breakthrough, push hard through this, you know, put in the work, face your fears, face your demons and change kind of moment. It is a new year, new me kind of moment. So, I mean, if anyone's going to be that person going into 2021, it's going to be you guys, new year, new me. It is a new year, new you, because you guys are stepping into some really intense energy. And with all this Aquarian energy floating about and the great conjunction happening, it's just it's a brand new beginning and it's beautiful. So get your priorities straight. What is holding you back from moving in the direction that you want to? If you want to be going this way, then maybe don't hold it up by doing something that's actually preventing this from moving forward. You know, oh, I want to, you know, build my own business. I want to do all these things, but I'm going to keep this other job that takes all my time and energy and I'm not going to, you know, continue to put more effort and time into the thing I want to do. It's stuff like that. What is holding you up? What is, what are you doing that's actually you know, um, it's actually a blockage. It's actually blocking the road forward for you. We have to get our priorities straight and moving in the same direction because if, if they're not, then we don't really seem to actually have control over the chariot. Things will move into the same direction, but you're going to have to figure out which way works best for you. What are you putting your energy and efforts into, especially again, in terms of your relationships, in terms of work, in terms of career stuff that or even energy with family members. If there's issues, again, that run that deep with the family, that run that deep with childhood stuff, why are you putting energy still into this? What do you need to heal and work through to let this go fully so that you can move on, move forward, and do better for yourself? So it's really going to ask you some hard questions this month. I mean, with judgment, literally a moment of change, bring out your dead. Bring out your dead, like from Monty Python. That's how I always see judgment. It's bring out your dead. It is time to face it is time to face it. It's time to look at what is dead within us and get rid of it. What are we holding on to? Beliefs, relationships, um, again, trauma that has been weighing us down and stopping us from really reaching our highest potential and living our truth, living our living our dreams, going for our real ambitions. And justice makes you take a really hard look at that. What's the truth of it? What are you responsible for in this situation? What are you going to do about it? Again, it's teaching you self-reliance in such a beautiful but intense way that only Aquarius, your energy, um, I can really relate this to. It's intense, but it's also like, you know, I love you and you're doing great, but you gotta you gotta fix this right now, or else it's gonna be a huge problem and you're gonna lose your job and all the it's very let's get right to the point here. Let's let's be straight. You gotta do this work to get to this point, so do it. But let's continue to look a little bit more here. Again, things will proceed in 2021 in directions that you haven't even imagined. Things are going to be so beautiful and work will get so much easier because luck will be on your side. Don't forget that. Luck will be on your side. So be grateful. Even with the things that are coming in aren't exactly what you want and they seem like more of a problem um, because you have to face something, work through something that may be you did to yourself a little bit. Don't get upset about it. Be happy that you're being faced with it to work through it at this point. It's just trying to make room and open doors for you, right? So. This 
let's look at ooh wow guys i was like i feel like i've yelled at you a little too much so let's look at love for a minute because that looked really nice um and it's looking just i'm gonna pull one more because i feel drawn to but wow it does look really beautiful for you guys like I said, beautiful new beginnings, if you want them, if you're ready for them, and you're willing to make room in your life and in your heart for these wonderful things that just want to work out. Like, there's a new beginning, and it's like, I don't even know where this is going, and I'm just, like, excited about it. Um, it's a journey. It's really, what you have to remember, as all these, you know, planets move into your sign, and that will continue to do so in 2021, life is a journey. The, sorry, the adventure, what am I trying to say? English, Helen. Um, the journey is the destination. The journey is the destination. I don't know why I had a hard time saying that. Um, blaming it on the astrology, even though Mercury's in retrograde. But the Fool, I have to say with all the positive cards around it, with this love situation, it's a new beginning and you don't need to worry about, you know, what's down the road, this, that, the other thing. If it feels right, if it feels like I can grow into something, give it the chance. Because it seems to me that this is a lot of good energy. I mean, wow. Wow. That's like something comes out of nowhere. Somebody comes out of nowhere and it's like, you were looking for me? Have you been looking for me for a while? What is this? Somebody that looks, feels, is like just Venusian goddess energy. I mean, whether male or female, this person is either going to make you feel, again, if you're a female who's into males, whatever, um... This person's going to make you feel all that Venusian energy. Maybe they're a Taurus. Maybe they have Taurus placements. Who knows? But whenever I get the Empress, it's that Venusian energy. I mean, could be Libra too with that um, Justice card showing up there as well. But this is gorgeous. This is somebody that looks exactly the way you want them to. That is able to provide. That seems to have it all together. That just is like, wow, you are romantic. You're enticing. I'm into you. And makes you feel like an absolute goddess. It's real steamy romance here. I have to say with all this, you know, you know, Empress, Six of Wands, <laughs> the Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Fool. It just feels so exci exciting, oh my God, exciting, exciting and stimulating. And just exactly what you want exactly what you've been asking for i feel like i read for whenever i'm reading for aquarius they're like when am i getting that partner when am i getting that partner i've had so many readings with aquarians where you guys get like literally mad that you haven't had that partner it's like okay well then why did this person come in and i have to deal with this bullshit like okay all right i'm sorry you know it was 12 you've been going through a lot of 12 house stuff for a while and it's had to it's really forced you to work through these really deeply ingrained problems in your life about who you're attracting in and who you're going for and now you're finally at this point where you can attract in the right person you can start the right thing with the right person who feels just like i can't believe this is happening it's like rose colored glasses literally um it's like nothing else matters just because i'm excited and i think i'm falling in love and i can't believe we have this connection things are looking i mean winner winner chicken dinner when you get the six of wands it's just things are moving forward deliciously communication is up and again the empress is planting i mean she doesn't if she is like the garden that that seed grows into so there is potential there long-term growth and potential and just such a beautiful steamy energy that leaves you at this point as you enter 2021 so love looks amazing it looks incredible career looks like it's going to get solid again through working through all those you know build-ups breakdowns all the stuff that is like it's just trying to force you to restructure really what the best path is for you in terms of career and work and whatever it is you're aiming for in those areas moving forward You just got to restructure. If it doesn't work out the way that you thought it would that time, just keep, just find a new way. Get some advice. Look at it a second time. Try something new. This is the time to do it and do it. I mean, you will be successful as long as you don't stay down for too long when things don't go your way. Okay? I promise you. Be willing to go at things in a different style. To try something new. Hmm. Ooh. 
yeah. There could be some surprises this month, I will say. If you suddenly have to make a decision that feels difficult and it comes kind of out of nowhere, it might feel really, really like, why am I getting, why are you throwing this on me now at the end of 2020 when I've already been thrilled? It's going to be annoying. Okay, let's just put it that way. It's going to be annoying. It's going to be difficult. And you might not know what to do right away. But the thing is, you do know what to do. And I think that if this is presented to you, and I feel like it will be either right before or around that conjunction, you will know what to do with this by the end of the month, or you will have to make this decision quite quickly in general. So trust yourself. If it's something about moving, it's it's something about, I don't know, it just feels like it's a distance thing. With the Five of Pentacles, sometimes I always feel like it's a distance thing. It could be that you suddenly have to travel somewhere, move somewhere, maybe your honey is going somewhere. But there is a change in terms of distance. And it happens very suddenly, and you have to decide what you're going to do about it. Maybe you get an offer that takes you kind of far and it feels like it's more of a burden to have to deal with this right now than something great. But what does it bring if you go for this, if you decide to, like, when you decide what you're going to do with this, you know, you're going to have to go through those seven cups and figure out what the best option is for you. How do I best approach this? Okay, well, now I'm just falling in love and now you're telling me you got a job offer somewhere else. What does that mean for me? What do I do? Hmm, I have to think about it. Oh, I feel like I just got settled in this situation and now I'm seeing this opportunity elsewhere. Someone needs me to move. There's movement. Take the lessons that you have and move forward. Or if again, if this is an opportunity that comes to you about moving, do it. I don't know. It feels right. And the decision needs to be made very quickly. If it's a good opportunity, why wouldn't you take it? If it's trying a little bit harder, I think it's worth it. Sometimes, not sometimes, let's just be honest. With Uranus and Taurus and all the other ast astrology this year, I'm like laughing because it's just been such a wild ride to be in, like to be reading this at the end of 2020 and being like, we're still going through this? Are you fucking kidding me? Um... <laughs> It will be okay. <laughs> Things are going to end up a lot better than what you planned for, than what you thought. And whenever I get an itchy nose, I always feel like it's a real, it's a real ass moment from spirit. That's like, yeah, don't worry. Things are going to still be like all over the fucking place. But you're just going to, especially in terms of, again, things that Taurus rules with Taurus and Uranus. Um, Because it's doing a little fun dance, you know, right around here in December and January as well. Doing, you know, being a bull in the china shop in the background while everything else is going on as well. So... We have to, again, just stay open to things shifting and changing. Don't let it grate on your ego. Don't let it grate on your pride. And just ask for help if you need it. Make the changes that are necessary for you. Um, be honest and open with your feelings and what you need and what you would like moving forward this month. And things will work out for you. It does require work this month. And it's going to ask you to make some hard decisions, to face some fears, to face some really deeply felt past pain and trauma. But it wants you to clear these things out so that you can have room for, again, remember all that good love stuff? Amazing. And career stuff is also going to be amazing. Amazing. Just amazing. So just stop. Don't complain. Like, this is, like, this is amazing. Right? I'm holding them backwards. So this he came out first. But, yeah. There's emotional, there's, there's the emotional stuff that you've been looking for right there. You can have it all. So, with, you know, whatever you're starting this month, especially in terms of love, it could be all this. But you have to have faith and be grateful, even if it doesn't come wrapped in exactly, you know, the package you want it to be. And even if it's like long distance or this or that, or like something is just like, oh, I thought it was amazing. And then this comes up and you're like, wait, what? You want me to, but now it's not perfect. It will be. You have to have patience. And I think that you will see that if you are willing to take on things that you didn't think you could ever take on this month and be open to things that you never thought you'd be open to, 
that your life will change drastically beautifully and it will look a lot better than you ever imagined it to be especially by you know i would say like mid-january into february 2021 it's going to be incredible why the time we get to your season like wow um i don't know if there's much else i really want to say here it looks really good be just roll with the punches be open i know it's a lot of messages i feel like that just came through for you guys and i know it's a lot to remember but i don't know go watch cancer's reading if you want to feel better about your reading um your because your reading is good um there's been readings this month that have been just like heart-wrenching painful difficult that's why they're taking so long to come out so let's see here. Um, anyways, Aquarius, if you do want to book a private reading, all that information is always right below this video in the description box. Um, and if you haven't, do make sure to subscribe. Do make sure to share if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate that. And definitely check out the playlist. All right, Aquarius, for this month. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get like one. This is a bit much. This is a bit much. Okay. <clears throat> Which is weird because I felt the strength card coming out throughout this whole reading and it never showed up. And I was like, that's kind of weird. I don't know why I just kept feeling like it was going to come out. This card is actually called strength. So the person who upsets you the most in your life is one of your best teachers. If that person can get inside your head, turn you around and confuse you, you know that you still don't understand what you are doing. You need more strength. Learn by seeing that your life is a teaching. Like the red lotus healing its pain and inner solitude, gain strength from entering your wounds and learn from them. The magician remembers the trail and takes a different one, even if it is more difficult. In this way, you build strength. Wow, okay. Love that message. That was from the Lynn V. Andrews power deck. And um, I love you guys so much. If you want to check out a more detailed um, you know, analysis of your birth chart, a compatibility analysis, a, um, numerology analysis. You can check those all out with Truly Divine. You can check out the link in my description box. Use my code for 30% off and you can use it as many times as you want. Okay. So have a wonderful and blessed holiday season. Love you guys so much. Namaste.